Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to dive into wardrobe essentials. And this is something that I often talk about here on my channel. However, today, instead of talking about actual clothing that might be essential for your wardrobe, I thought that today, why not dive into the world of the more unspoken wardrobe essentials? So I'm of course talking about those little essentials that allow you to effortlessly wear all of your favorite clothes and essentials that we might not speak about that often, but that are actually rather important. So I'm sure some of you might recognize this little problem, if you will, and that is squeaky shoes. So my solution to this is to use baby powder or simply foot powder, sprinkle a bit of that inside of the shoe, maybe on your feet, and then the squeaking will disappear as by magic. This is a trick that I often use when I wear shoes that have a leather insole or made with leather inside somehow. For example, my secondhand Valentino pumps or I have certain leather sneakers as well that has a tendency to make this annoying squeaky sound when I walk. So baby powder sprinkled within the shoe is something that seems to get rid of this problem for me. Speaking of shoes, buying extra insoles, whether that being for winter time and maybe some sort of like a wool material to keep your feet extra toasty in the cold months. Maybe you have a pair of shoes that are slightly too big. Maybe they gave in a bit too much or whatever the reason might be. If you're popping in an extra insole into a pair of shoes like that, they will fit better around your foot and then you will be able to use them. So the next essential is something I cannot live without, especially during the spring and summer season when I'm wearing all my favorite Razorback tops. So of course you could go braless underneath a top like this if this is something you feel comfortable with. If however you feel a bit more comfortable actually wearing a bra, going for a Razorback clip for your bra is something that you might want to look into. So this little essential is so cool because it allows you to wear all of the bras you already have with regular straps, and then you just kind of tuck them in at the back and secure them with a racer back clip. So next up is another essential that I've mentioned before, especially again for the spring and summer time. So when you're wearing dresses or skirts uh, where you have bare legs underneath, there's nothing more annoying and uncomfortable than having your thighs rubbing against each other. So my trick here is to wear a pair of biker shorts. I'm sure many of you already do this. If not, I promise you this will be life changing for you. It will allow you to actually feel more comfortable in all of your favorite dresses, all of your favorite skirts. So invest in a couple of different colors, also so you have something to keep in rotation when another pair is in the wash. This will not only keep your thighs from rubbing in the summer heat, it will also protect your modesty, which comes in handy, especially if you're a mom like me and you're often playing around on the floor, on the ground with a little one. So now that we're soon going into my favorite season of all, autumn, that means that we're all gonna be wearing our heavy, fussy, cozy jumpers a bit more. I have super sensitive skin and even the softest jumpers can sometimes feel kind of itchy on my skin. So something I love always having in my wardrobe and especially wearing underneath knitwear is tank tops, just basic tank tops, maybe even a racer back top like this one. I also love wearing a long sleeve t-shirt, like a really tight one and maybe Tencel, for example, a really lightweight one underneath my jumpers, just to create a protective layer between my skin and that itchy, kind of fabric. And this allows me to wear all of my cozy, fussy jumpers without getting annoyed or without feeling like they itch my skin too much throughout the day. So the next unspoken wardrobe essential I wanted to mention today is something called no sweat pads. I think I've mentioned this before in a video a long time ago. This is especially something I like wearing in blazers, for example, or other more delicate kinds of tops that you can't just necessarily put into the washing machine. If you have a really important meeting that is making you a bit anxious and you have a tendency to sweat a bit more throughout events like that, going for no sweat pads in your shirts or blazers just to protect your clothing from any unwanted stains. This trick is really something that I have used a lot throughout the years. So if you have a capsule wardrobe like me, or if you just have a smaller wardrobe space where you have to sort of store away items that are not in season, 
um, this trick might be something for you as well. So something you might want to try doing, especially if you're storing your clothing away in the attic, for example, is to first and foremost store it in airtight containers, because this will prevent moths from getting into the containers. Something else you might want to try to prevent your clothes from getting destroyed by moths, for example, is to buy natural cedar wood. So I recently bought some of this natural cedar wood because I, again, I recently became a mom and the little one is just outgrowing all of her clothing in no time. And I, of course, want to store it away because maybe I might want to use it later and maybe I want to pass it on to someone else. So to make sure that nothing gets ruined by moths, for example, I have put it into the airtight containers and then I just put in some of this natural cedar wood into the box as well. I will just add though that this will of course um, prevent the moths from eating the clothes or making holes in the clothes but if you have a real problem with moths this might be something you want to look into. They will still be in the house somewhere they just won't make holes in your clothing so that's just something I wanted to add. Last but not least, this is more of a tool, but real and essential for me as well. It's something I've mentioned throughout many of my videos, and that is a fabric shaver. I cannot live without my steamery fabric shaver. I love that little tool so much, whether that being for cardigans, for knitwear, which you have to handle with care. Don't be too rough on the surface because you might get a hole in there. Basically what this tool does is that it removes bubbles, which especially comes in handy for knitwear, wool items like blazers or wool pants, for example, scarves, beanies, gloves, you name it. It's just such a handy little tool and I cannot live without it. Just make sure with this specific tool, if you do decide to invest in the one from Steamery, that you need to carefully clean it between every time you've used it. Otherwise, it won't be very effective. So just a little side note on that. So there you have it guys, eight unspoken wardrobe essentials that I think will come in handy for many of you. It's definitely something that I cannot live without in my wardrobe. So I make videos all about basic wardrobes, capsule wardrobes, sustainable fashion. So if you would like to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you around. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.